Hi, I'm George from Magaya, and in this video, I'll show you how to create an entry summary, also called a 7501, from a Magaya shipment. Then, we'll send it through the integration to your customs compliance system, where you can file it with US Customs. The integration enables the two systems to communicate with each other to send shipment data from Magaya to Customs Compliance. Then, Customs Compliance sends US Customs updates about your entry summaries, ISF, and other filings back to your Magaya system. We'll start in the Magaya shipment. From the shipment toolbar, click the arrow on the Customs button and select Customs Compliance. Create Entry Summary. The Customs Compliance Integration screen opens where you can review your shipment and see all the data transferred. Fill in required fields such as the commercial invoice number, currency, and package type. Next, map your shipper and consignee entities. For example, if the shipper is also the manufacturer, then click here and select Manufacturer to match these two entities. If the consignee is the buyer, map them together. The importer of record must have a tax ID number in their Magaya profile. If your shipment has houses, you'll see them here. Check the waybills you want to send to Customs Compliance. Click Send when you're ready. If you make any changes to the shipment in Magaya, click Reload Shipment. Then click Send again. The transaction will be updated in Customs Compliance. When Customs Compliance receives the shipment, it will automatically create an entry number. Then it will send the number back to your Magaya system and save it on the Events tab of the shipment. In your Customs Compliance dashboard, complete any needed information and file the entry summary. When Customs receives it, they will give you a confirmation message which will appear in Customs Compliance and in the Magaya events. Any Customs updates will also appear in both systems. For definitions of the entry summary field and for instructions to validate and submit the form to Customs, see the knowledge base. Watch the other videos in this series to get the most from your connected systems. Thanks for watching.